Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, good morning everyone and welcome back to PDPR. Okay, so for today's topic, okay, we will be covering Unit 5, Let's Experiment. And the title is 6 Amazing Predictions for the Future. Okay, so before we start our lesson... Um, I need everyone to fill in the form for your attendance. So please click the link and fill in the form. Okay, okay. okay so what are today's activities? Okay, first, um, we will be reading a magazine article entitled Six Amazing Predictions for the Future. And then we have to be sure that we understand the text. And after reading the text, we will answer um, some comprehension questions regarding the text. Okay? Okay, so this is the text that we are going to, re to read. Uh, so you may refer your Pulse textbook, page 53. Or if you didn't have it, okay, you can see here on my slide, okay. So let's read the text together. Okay, so the title is Six Amazing Predictions for the Future. Okay, um, Six Amazing Predictions for the Future. Okay, amazing we know in Malay is... Um, macam hebat okay predictions in Malay is jangkaan okay jangkaan what what will you predict in the future apa yang kita akan jangka apa yang dijangka akan berlaku di masa hadapan okay let's look here okay will the world be very different 20 years from now futurologist Mark Mann gives us his view of life in the future Okay, dia cakap sini, adakah dunia ni akan berbeza 20 tahun akan datang? Okay, so Mark Mann is the futurologist. Okay, futurologist ni adalah seseorang yang macam buat buat research. Dia buat apa ni? Macam study lah. Study yang... Um, Khasnya, orang akan membuat uh, kajian uh, tentang masa hadapan. Okay? Okay, uh, apa possibility di masa hadapan dan apa yang orang boleh buat pada waktu ni? Untuk, menye untuk apa ni? For the preparation in the future. Okay? So, uh, Mark Mann is the futurologist and then he gives us his view of life. Dia bagi macam pendapat lah kepada kita melalui artikel ni. Okay? Okay, paragraph number one. Okay, many people who are born in the 2040s will live until they are 150. Okay, um, ramai orang yang um, lahir Pada tahun 2040, 2040 lagi 20 tahun kan, akan hidup sehingga mereka berumur 150. Okay, that is because there will be vaccines for most serious diseases including cancer. Okay, dia cakap kenapa, kenapa orang boleh hidup sampai 150 tahun? Sebab akan ada vaksin untuk penyakit yang serius atau teruk termasuklah cancer. Okay. Okay. Second, cars will will drive themselves. Our cars will take us wherever we want to go safely and easily, and we will be able to relax and enjoy the ride. Okay, dia cakap uh, kereta akan pandu kereta tu sendiri. Okay, uh, no need no need a driver. Okay, kita tidak perlukan pemandu untuk kereta. And then, kereta tu akan bawa kita ke mana saja kita mau dengan selamat dan senang. And then, um, kita akan just relax and enjoy the ride. Enjoy the ride maksud dia macam 
having fun lah sewaktu di dalam kereta tu. Okay, next. Learning a second language won't be necessary. Okay, um, belajar bahasa kedua tidak perlu pun. Okay, we will be able to buy tiny computers that fit in our ear and translate what we hear into our own language. Okay, we will be able to buy tiny computers. Kita uh, dibolehkan membeli satu komputer uh, yang kecil that fit in our ear. Okay, yang macam suit dengan kita. Suit fit. Like, how to say ah? Yang macam sesuai lah. Sesuai dengan kita. Sesuai dengan telinga kita. And then, dia akan translate apa yang kita dengar uh, kepada bahasa kita. So that we will be understand what the other person want to deliver to us. Okay? Kita boleh faham apa yang orang tu mau cakap dengan kita. So, kita tidak perlu lagi belajar bahasa tu. Kita just beli tu komputer kecil tu. Okay? Ini adalah jangkaan saja. Ah. Okay. Okay, next, there will be genetically modified crops that are very healthy. For example, sweets will have vitamins in them. Okay, uh, maksudnya sini, there will be genetically modified crops. Maksudnya ada beberapa benda yang akan diubah menjadi satu bentuk benda yang sangat sehat. Okay, contohnya, Gula-gula, gula-gula ni dia akan ada vitamin. So, gula-gula yang sekarang kita makan ni mungkin tiada vitamin sebab dia manis dan rasanya tidak bagus untuk kesihatan kan. Benda-benda manis ni boleh menyebabkan diabetes atau kencing manis. Tapi in the future, gula-gula tu itself is healthy. Bukan lagi macam sekarang. Okay, we will also be able to buy Square fruit and vegetables that fit in the fridge more easily. Okay, kita juga boleh beli uh, buah-buahan dan sayur-sayuran yang berbentuk empat segi. Okay, kenapa uh, berbentuk empat segi? Supaya dia boleh fit in the fridge. Maksudnya dia macam bentuk tu ngam-ngam di dalam peti sejuk kita. So, kita akan senang letak buah ataupun sayur tu di dalam peti sejuk. Okay. Okay, number five, paragraph number five. Okay, people will go on holiday to space. Thousands of us will work in space stations, which will have hotels, restaurants, and sports stadiums. Okay, people will go on holiday to space. Okay, orang akan pergi bercuti di angkasa. Okay. Thousands of us, ribuan manusia akan kerja di stesen angkasa. Okay? Stesen angkasa tu akan ada hotel, restoran dan stadium sukan. Okay, maksudnya bukan bumi sejala tempat kita tinggal. Tapi kita juga boleh pergi angkasa sudah waktu tu. Okay, last one. We will be able to play video games just by thinking. Okay, kita boleh bermain um, video game game dengan hanya berfikir, thinking, berfikir. Okay, the games will be advanced enough to understand what move we want to make. Okay, game tu akan Advance ni macam yang uh, functionals enough. Um, how to say in Malay? Advance. Macam dia punya functions tu advance. Ayah, apa ni? Kejap. Hmm. Oh, maju. Okay. Uh, game tu macam maju sudah. And that um, the game will be understand. Dia akan faham apa move gerakan yang kita mau buat. 
Okey, kita fikir je game tu boleh detect sudah. Dia macam boleh tahu apa kita fikir. Okey, so it will make the move for us. We won't need to, to touch anything. Okey, benda tu sendiri akan buat pergerakan tu sendiri. So, kita tidak perlu um, sentuh apa-apa, tidak -apa, perlu tekan apa-apa keypad. Kita just fikir je, kita duduk depan laptop tu, kita fikir and then game tu akan bergerak sendirinya mengikut apa yang kita fikir. Okay, so itu maksud dia yang perenggan ke enam. Okay, but please bear in your mind, okay, tolong ingat yang ini semua adalah jangkaan sahaja. Six amazing predictions for the future. Okay, so betul-betul hebat kan? It's really amazing. Okay. okay, next, now that we have understood the text or the article, okay, kita sudah faham kan? Okay, so let's answer some comprehension questions. Okay, jom kita jawab uh, soalan pemahaman ni. Okay, let's look at question number one. Okay, what age will people live to? Okay, dia tanya sini, um, berapa umur... Manusia akan hidup, okay? In the in the article, okay? Dalam artikel yang kita baca tadi dia ada mention tu, uh, manusia boleh hidup sampai umur berapa, okay? Tengok balik, and then please give your answer. Okay, question number two, why won't people learn to drive? Okay, kenapa manusia tidak perlu belajar untuk memandu? Okay, why? Sebab kenapa tadi ada kan? Sebab sebab kereta tu boleh tetetet. Okay. Okay. Question number three. How will computers help people who can't speak foreign languages? Okay. Macam mana komputer tu boleh tolong orang yang tidak boleh atau tidak fasi berbahasa selain bahasa bahasanya sendiri? Ataupun bahasa asing. Foreign language is bahasa asing. Okay, number four. How will fruit and vegetables be different? Okay, macam mana buah dan sayur-sayuran tu akan jadi berbeza in the future, dalam di masa hadapan? Apa yang akan berlaku kepada buah dan sayur-sayuran? Okay. Okay, number five. Where will people stay on the space station? Okay, in the space station... Okay, stesen angkasa tu di mana orang-orang akan stay? Apa yang ada? Okay. Okay, last one. What, what won't people have to do when they play video games? Okay, apa yang manusia tidak perlu buat waktu orang bermain game tersebut? Okay, so all of your answers, okay, you need to write in comprehension book. Okay, uh, jawab soalan dan tulis soalan tu di dalam buku comprehension. Kalau tak tulis soalan pun tak apa, yang penting jawapan. Okay, and then when you finish answering your everything, uh, please send your answers to teacher to be checked. Okay, so that's all for today's lesson. Thank you very much for listening and stay safe.